The owner of this incredible neck beard is called Tacitus, almost certainly no relation to the more famous Tacitus, the first century Roman historian. Our Tacitus ruled as Roman emperor for the first six months of the year 276. He most likely cut his teeth as so many emperors of this era did in the Illyrian military. He came to power in a tough spot as his immediate predecessor Aurelian had been incredibly popular. Tacitus was a fair choice all things considered as he'd earned universal respect in the senate and army over the course of a very long career. Upon his election to the throne, Tacitus immediately arrested and executed Aurelian's murderers. Then he set about restoring a frankly extraordinary amount of senatorial power, granting them the right to appoint future emperors and provincial governors, legal authority over every court in the empire, and restoring them certain powers of the purse. While Tacitus' immediate successors would respect these reforms, they would not survive in any form past the reign of Diocletian and the initiation of the Dominate and the Tetrarchy. In a short six months, he had time to campaign against the Herali and the Goths, earning him the title Gothicus Maximus. Tacitus was in fact en route to Gaul to deal with an uprising there when he was felled either by a fever or by assassination, the sources are not clear, in the summer of 276.